Okay, do you want to dance with us on now? <laughs> we have got the X Factor. <laughs> I got informed middle of last year that I need to have a double hernia operation. Um, and having seen the consultant, I was sent to the pre-op assessment unit. Uh, and whilst there, they basically went through a series of questions, uh, weighed me, measured me, did all the usual routine, asked if I spoke. When I said yes and told them how many, which was 30 a day, they just said I was at high risk. So the fear of actually having an operation and being told that I'd be at high risk was the trigger that said, right, I need to do something about this. And, and surprisingly, I, as much as before I went, I thought I'd be uncomfortable in the group, I actually felt very comfortable in the group once I actually got there. Um, so it, it was kind of a complete opposite to what I was expecting. Um, in terms of quitting, I, I'll be honest, uh, I walked in, uh, I said to Johnny, the guy who was actually running the session, um, you know, I, I don't know what you've got, but I kind of want the nuclear weapon that's in your armory because patches won't work, chewing gum will not work, all these things. I was actually shaking, physically shaking in that first session. Sweat was pouring off me and I, and I was an absolute nervous wreck. There is that real fear to start with and it is, for me it was all about changing, and I didn't realise this at the time, it's all about changing the habits. It really is about looking at what you're doing. The, the stopping smoking in its own right isn't difficult, it's stopping the habit that's difficult. Uh, because once you have to get into it, the taste of the cigarettes, the smell of it, everything about it is absolutely awful. But it's changing those habits and it is, in most cases, the habits of a lifetime. And I think the thing that the guys do there is by sharing experiences, they share some of the things that have been successful for them. And it just helps you that little bit might just trigger one little thought in your head and think, you know, I'll try that or I'll do that differently. Um, and that's where I think the success really came from. I think there's the obvious benefits to stopping smoking that anybody who, who stops smoking will recognise and that is hopefully a much healthier lifestyle going forward. Um, there's obviously the financial benefits of not spending an absolute small fortune uh, on picking those 20 little white sticks a day up or 40 or 60 depending on how bad an addiction you've got. I think the biggest thing from my point of view though was that it was actually came slightly differently with more of a reward and this was probably just before Christmas so it was some six months after I'd stopped smoking and there was a conversation in the house a nine year old daughter turned around and said oh I forgot you smoked dad and she'd known, never known me anything but a smoker uh, but literally within six months of me stopping she'd actually forgotten now for me that one sentence just made everything worthwhile